So what we're going to do today is we're going to tackle Isida Ortho 4. And although this looks like it may be in metric, if you read the actual problem uh, at the top there, it says that it is actually in inches. The difference here is instead of being in fractions, we're going to see this in decimals. So we're going to be displaying this in decimals. And we're going to be in our guide class today. We've already saved our document. We're going to be in the orthographic layer. And we're going to start with the rectangle tool this morning. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a rectangle that is going to be a total of 3.25 by 2.23. And uh, what this rectangle is going to be is it's going to be the basis for everything we're going to do today. I'm going to bring this down to my front uh, view uh, space, and now I'm going to draw a horizontal line. And what I'm going to do with this horizontal line is I'm going to check my uh, origin point down here to my lower left-hand corner, and I know that my first line across is going to be at 0.25, in my Y. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go to 0.25 and uh, that is my first line. My second line, I'm just going to duplicate this original line then come over here after it's duplicated and I'm going to go to 0.88 and from there I'm going to duplicate it one more time but now I'm going to change my origin point to this top section and over here I'm going to make that negative 1.22 and I now have all of my horizontal lines for my overall object. Let's uh, draw a new guideline now from here up and uh, this line here is going to actually be uh, from my origin point of over here uh, negative in my x 0.88 and then I'm going to change my origin point one more time to that line and on that line I'm going to duplicate and it's going to be an X of negative 1.5 so now I've got those lines the last line I need to kind of complete this 2d polygon is going to be my angled line so I'm just going to take my line here and I'm going to start to draw it and as I draw it I'm going to tab over to the angle section and make it a 70 degree angle now, uh, when I move this to my origin point, which is going to be my lower right-hand corner, I want to make sure that I'm verifying from the bottom point of the line, and that's this, this black uh, piece changes, so I want that to be from the bottom part of the line, and in my X, I want that X to be negative 0.5, and I want my Y to be 0, and now that's going to be in the right position. From here, I'm going to leave that selected and take my mirroring tool and just mirror that over to the other side. Now that I've got that, I'm going to grab my 2D polygon tool, I'm going to grab my visible class, and now in my visible class, I'm going to trace the outside of this object. And once I have this traced, I'm going to put in my hidden lines and my center lines. So there's my overall object, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, I'm going to take my box or my rectangle tool in my guide class, and I'm going to make a box that is 3.25 by negative 0.75. So this is the inside box, and I'm just going to take that and verify that center point to the midpoint of my object. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this, I'm going to highlight that top piece. I'm going to highlight that bottom piece. It's going to give me the midpoint. I'm going to select those two midpoints together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to my hidden class in my line. I'm going to put a hidden line here. I'm going to put a hidden line here. And lastly, I'm going to make a center line. And I'm going to extend that center line past my object. And then I'm going to take my move tool and I'm going to take that midpoint and place it on the midpoint of my actual object. From here I can take um, you know, my, my guidelines out if I wanted to or I can continue to leave them there as I move forward in the process but what we're looking for is an object that looks very very similar to this. So I've got my angled piece here, it's all one solid object, I've got my hidden line and my center line uh, where I need them to be uh, this is the front view of Isida Ortho number four.